Hello, good day everyone. This is uh, Professor Roger Flores of Central Mindanao University, the professor of this subject, uh, EDOC 65, The Building and Enhancing Literacies Across the Curriculum. Today we are going to discuss Unit 4. Uh, it is entitled uh, Media and uh, Cyber or Digital Literacies. Okay, so this is more on the, the social media or uh, internet platforms that we're going to discuss. No? So what is uh, media, what is uh, cyber or digital literacy? No? So to start with, we have these uh, topics that uh, to discuss, topics to ponder. Uh, this is uh, media as uh, literacy, uh, that is number one. And number two, we have blogs. Number three, we have this uh, social networking and uh, social media sites. Okay. So number four, video games and virtual world. Number five, we have this uh, uh, YouTube and uh, video sharing. And number six, uh, Wikis and uh, online sources. Okay, so these are the uh, topics that we go uh, that we are going to discuss uh, in this uh, chapter four. Okay, so we have this uh, media literacy. So by the way, class, uh, here we are going to discuss some of the uh, definition. Um, of uh, media literacy okay so we have number one here uh, the media uh, literacy means the ability to access analyze and evaluate and communicate messages in wide variety of forms okay so um, ability to access no so to open to access to manipulate okay and uh, from that, uh, we have also to analyze. So the uh, the condition of these applications or any media platforms, okay, and also to evaluate that uh, we will be able to evaluate now uh, the performance of uh, this media, okay, or any media, internet media, okay, social media, and other uh, uh, platform, okay. And then uh, communicate messages. Okay, so that is uh, another thing that we have here, no? In a wide variety of forms. Okay, so it is not only in one form, but uh, of course uh, it it is uh, used in any other platforms. Okay, so another definition of uh, media literacy is this ability to access and analyze. Then we have this uh, evaluate and create messages, okay? So not only communicate uh, messages, but of course, we have to create messages, okay? So in a variety of contexts, that is according to Christ and uh, Potter, no? uh, 1998. Another definition of uh, media literacy is uh, this, um, this uh, term, is used by scholars or modern scholars okay to refer to the process of uh, critically analyzing and learning to create one's own messages in uh, print uh, media audio uh, video and multimedia okay so uh, it is understood that uh, this uh, literacy this media literacy is uh, the, or refer to the process of critically analyzing. So that is uh, the root word here. Analyze, access, evaluate, create, communicate uh, through this uh, uh, different uh, social media or media. Okay, And then also from this third uh, definition we have, uh, it is also learning to create uh, one's own messages. Okay. Uh, in, uh, in, in the form of uh, print, audio, video, and multimedia. By the way, uh, when we say media, it is either uh, print or broadcast. No? So, when we say uh, 
print uh, media. It is uh, either uh, news, magazine, and or books, no. So uh, any other forms of uh, writings, no. So that is uh, media literacy in a form of uh, print media. Uh, when we say broadcast, of course, uh, it is either uh, uh, in radio or in television. Okay, so those are these uh, uh, different uh, media. No, so next we have this. Uh, this media literacy is not uh, criticizing media. Okay, okay. So criticizing media is uh, not in and of itself media literacy okay so that's very clear no? it is different from what some of these uh, broadcasters might be the doing because uh, criticizing somebody or uh, making some uh, critical opinions then uh, of course uh, uh, that is their opinion and uh, it is not uh, literacy anyway okay so next merely producing Media is not uh, media literacy, okay? Because uh, as we define the uh, media literacy, it is said that we have uh, to evaluate, to analyze, to create, no? So, merely producing that media is not media literacy, okay? It is understood, okay? Teaching with media does not equal media literacy, okay? So, teaching with media. So this is uh, what we are doing now, this time, uh, what I am doing the, right now is not just simply as media literacy, okay? Because uh, purely uh, I am doing here teaching, uh, the uh, video discussions, okay? So it is not uh, literacy, media literacy, that could uh, anyone can do this one, no? Then uh, another one is uh, viewing media and analyzing it from a single perspective is not media literacy. Okay, so it should be in a broadened or broad, uh, uh, broadened, broadened uh, uh, scope or perspective. No, so in a broad uh, scope or perspective, that is uh, media literacy. So anyway, just by viewing the media or analyzing it, simply analyzing it, so that, that is uh, making some uh, personal opinion, that is not uh, media literacy. Okay, so media literacy does not simply mean knowing what and what not to watch. Okay, so this is uh, just uh, based on uh, the mood of uh, watching a video, no? So it is not just uh, simply it is not just simply knowing what you are watching to okay what is this video all about but of course uh, uh, it should be uh, made uh, or it should be done with all this uh, as we defined in a previous slide okay we have here digital literacy okay so what is this digital digital literacy this is the ability to locate, evaluate, create, and communicate information on various digital platforms. Okay, so talking about digital platforms, it is uh, in a form of a discrete signal, okay, or it is in a form of uh, discrete uh, electricity, okay, transforming our uh, voice, our picture, our video into digital platforms. Uh, uh, electricity converting and then uh, then uh, convert it into a video okay so another form is analog no but uh, this time analog uh, production of video audio and other um, form or platforms is not anymore uh, uh, widely used no widely used this time so the technical cognitive and sociological skills needed to um, to perform tasks and solve problems is digital environments. Okay, so technical cognitive and uh, and sociological skills.
Okay, so when we say sociological skills, this refers to socio means society. Okay, how you're going to relate with uh, your skills in relating uh, with other people, the people surrounds us, no? Okay, so and uh, perform tasks and solve problems in digital environment. Okay, so we have this digital literacy. Okay, this includes uh, tool literacy. Okay, the, the tool that we will be using, the applications that we are going to use in the, the social uh, or this uh, media. Uh, then you have the resource or literacy. Okay, the sources the logistics, the materials that we're going to use, the technology that we're going to use, okay? So, uh, that is resource literacy. Okay, so social structural literacy. Of course, uh, uh, whether we like it or not, our uh, media is for the society, the people that surrounds us. Okay, then the structural of this uh, community, people that might be our potential uh, audience. No? Okay, so next is uh, research literacy. That is very important also. Research in the media uh, literacy is very important because uh, here we're going to, uh, you will know that uh, the media that we are doing, the video may be that we are going in any applications, or using any applications okay so is it uh, applicable is it uh, uh, viable or useful okay then publishing literacy okay so publications informations promotions okay so using this digital uh, technology okay emerging technologies literacy so what are the emerging technology the new technology applic applicable technology okay so all these things that you have then we have also this critical literacy okay so it is also very important to to consider what kind of uh, phenomenon what kind of input that we are going to use no when we say uh, literacy or critical literacy so we should have to determine whether or not that is uh, uh, the it is uh, the information is uh, critical for our audience. Okay, so we have also this blog. Okay, so some of us or maybe some of you are now bloggers, or what does this mean? Okay, so according to. Uh, what we have here, this uh, blog is uh, just a short term for web blog. Web blog, okay. Okay, it was started in early 2000, okay, year 2000. No? So blogging is uh, or blog is uh, this time very very common, no. And maybe some of us or some of you are now doing blogging and uh, become bloggers, no. So, what is blog? Now, it is an online journal or informational website displaying information in the reverse chronological order. Okay, so uh, we have some important term here. Online journal. Okay, then information. No? So, uh, blogging is uh, giving idea, giving inputs to our uh, potential uh, uh, viewers okay of our website no then uh, displaying also the information okay so when we see the chronological order it is the uh, step by step no or this is the first picture the first uh, uh, information up to the succeeding the rest of uh, or the succeeding informations that's supposed to be the blogger wants to impart to their uh, viewers okay it is a platform where a writer or a como uh, uh, or a group of uh, writers share their views in individual subject okay on an individual subject 
So in other words, uh, this uh, blogging or this blog could be done by a single writer and a single author or a group of writers or authors. Okay, so uh, making some views, ideas, points, opinion on the individual subject. The main purpose of a blog is to connect you to the relevant audience. Okay, so to connect the uh, the author, the person, okay, uh, the writer to the relevant audience. Okay. And to boost your traffic and send quality leads to your website. Okay, so uh, that is a blog. Now, when it comes to blogging, okay, so blogging is a collection of skills, no? So, a collection of skills that one needs to run and supervise a blog. Okay, so blogging needs a collection of skills. So hindi hindi kasi basta-basta yung gagawa ng blog no or magiging blogger or making this blogging no doing blogging no This entails equipping a web page with tools to make the process of writing, posting, linking and sharing content easier in the internet. Okay, so uh, this entails or uh, this includes no web page. So um if you are or if you will become a blogger then we have your own web page okay with tools to make the process of writing posting of something that you're going to share with your audience no linking to your audience and the rest of the audiences okay and sharing content okay using this uh, internet okay so that is uh, what we meant by blogging okay this time we have to define what is a blogger so a blogger is someone who runs and controls a blog okay so that is a person somebody that control make or create this a blog no he or she shares his or her opinion and knowledge okay on different topics for a target audience Okay, so uh, as suggested by some of these uh, uh, plat mid uh, social platform, that uh, they say that we have to choose our expertise, we have to choose our topics, so that uh, people might be interested with our video, our blogs, because uh, we focused on a certain topic and. Uh, a certain uh, uh, a certain uh, discussions okay issues concerns okay so that is uh, necessary in making a blog or become a blogger okay basic structure of a blog okay so these are some no uh, it is just a suggestion of the uh, structure of a blog first we have the header with a menu or navigation bar okay so uh, of course uh, some of the social media have all these things already so that is why uh, it is more easier and uh, uh, friendly to the user if uh, uh, we are using this uh, this uh, uh, common social media no kasi po mayroon na yang mga menu mayroon na mga navig uh, navigation bar mayroon na mga header no okay so main content area with highlighted or latest blog posts okay so main content area the cover page so the area where you specify okay you emphasize your topics no so, ito po yung tinatawag natin na highlighted. Okay. Next is sidebar. No? With uh, social profiles, favorite content, or call to action. The last one here is uh, footer with relevant links. Like disclaimer, privacy, policy, contact page, and etc. Okay. 
So, uh, maybe we are familiar already. What is the content of disclaimer? Informing the scope, limitations of our blog, of our, uh, yes, our blogs, no? Then also, uh, here in this uh, footer, we have also to place our privacy policy, especially this time, no, that uh, we have this uh, privacy law. So, it is not as simple as... Uh, uh, mentioning the world's uh, private informations because uh, we will be charged by this uh, privacy law. So we should, uh, if you will become a blogger, situate that uh, you are familiar with this uh, privacy or uh, yes, the privacy law uh, here in our uh, country. Then we have also this contact page. Okay, so uh, contact page contact number, how your audience, your prospective uh, audience contact, uh, how they are going to contact you and how they will reach you. No? So, and etc. That is the uh, structure of a blog. Okay, so uh, next here is social networking and social media sites. Okay, so we are now uh, going to uh, discuss uh, network and uh, social media, uh, the, some of the common sites of this uh, social media. Okay, so uh, we have here the definition of social media. Okay, it is a form of electronic communication through which users create online communities to share information. So we have this what we call as online communities. Okay, so uh, that is why in Facebook we have those friends. Okay, we have those uh, followers. Okay, those are the online communities that we have. Okay, so kahit uh, hindi kayo makakilala personally, so you will now become friend in the social media or electronic because of this electronic communication process. Okay, so which, uh, what is the purpose of having this uh, online com communities? Okay, here where you will be able to share information. Okay, ideas, personal messages, and other content as videos, as picture, or any information that will help your follower or your subscriber to understand easily, to find it easily, and to connect you easily. Okay, so that is uh, social media, forms of electronic communication. Okay, next we have the social networking. So, it is the creation and maintenance of uh, personal and business relationships, especially online. Okay, so we have this uh, social networking, creation and maintenance of personal and business relationships. Okay, so I think, or maintaining, sustaining good relationship with your, um, uh, with your friends, with your followers, with your subscribers. Okay, creating a maintenance of this uh, personal relationship or even business relationship, that is what we call as social networking. So actually in many businesses this time, so they are now uh, applying or using this uh, principle of uh, social networking. So uh, even in some of our uh, commercial uh, establishments, okay, Yung mga malalaking uh, malls, mayroon silang tinatawag na uh, networks, mayroon silang mga mayroon silang mga cards, no? Mga customers uh, cards. Okay, so that or membership. So that is a sort of uh, networking, no? So that is uh, business strategies in a way. Okay, so we have this five uh, five biggest differences between social media and social networking. Unang-unang una, una po dito, we have this uh, communication style. Okay, so in social media, you're doing all of the talking. Okay? So pag uh, makikita mo yan, no? when it comes to communication in social media, lahat doon, nagpo-post kayo in one way only. One way system only. Okay? You are doing all the talking or all the uh, writings or writings of the information okay 
With social networking, there needs to be a mix of both talking and listening. In other words, uh, you are going to uh, receive or you will receive also information from the other side of the communication process. Okay, so if you are talking about business, then your business partner will give you an idea, your consumers, your uh, uh, your clients will give you an idea or some information. Okay, so this is what we call the story process of the communication style. So that is one of the uh, difference, no? five di biggest differences of social media. In other words, the social media, you are doing one way, more on talking by uh, you are doing all this talking while uh, in uh, social networking uh, aside from talking you are also listening to your clients your customers or your partner in your organization okay so how about goals okay the social networking okay in social networking your ultimate goal is to build your network okay to build your network and social networking. So, yun nga po, uh, yun po tinatawag natin kanina na subscribers, tinatawag natin na followers, yun po, uh, applicable yan sa social networking. Okay. So, and foster those relationships. No? So, uh, maintain uh, those uh, relationships so that uh, you have also your avid listeners. You have... Uh, uh, and, uh, so that uh, they will not go away with your uh, their interest, they will not change their interest. No, so we have also the social media. When it comes to goals, this differs because uh, you're certainly trying to generate buzz and interactions. Okay, so don't myron po tayong don't po myron po tayong na interactions. No, yun po uh, myron tayong uh, it will generate uh, buzz and interactions. Kaya nga po, uh, pag mayroon tayong ipopost dyan sa uh, Facebook natin halimbawa, doon sa YouTube natin halimbawa, o sa iba't ibang uh, uh, platforms, uh, we should have to expect that somebody will react on what we are posted, uh, what or what we posted. No? So, you also want to increase your bottom line and that means data acquisition or lead generation and sales for commerce. Okay, so uh, uh, there in our social media, you will be able to gain more um, maybe customers or maybe uh, friends and you will learn many things from them because there is what we call as interaction. So that is a goal. Now next about content. So, what is the difference between social media and social networking when it comes to content of what you are or what you are doing? No? So, in social networking, it's a lot of rich conversation and questions. Ayun nga po, marami pa nga dyan eh. Medyo mga harsh pa yung mga uh, terminologies nga, na ginagamit nila. No? So, uh, that is social networking. And uh, maybe, um, of course, uh, you cannot... Uh, uh, control them that sometimes you cannot control uh, your the, the, the respondents no for those who responded your uh, ideas okay so on the social media uh, side of things you're trying to drive engagement and you can't do that with the 250 words Facebook post yun nga po uh, that is uh, the difference no so, dito po sa social media, you have to have this uh, engagement that uh, your words is not only limited to 250. Okay, so it is not, uh, in other words, uh, hindi po uh, maliit, konti, but uh, we need to have more expl explanations and more words to uh, to share with your readers, no? your uh, friends, and your subscribers and followers. Okay, so next we have time and effort. Okay, that is uh, in terms of time and effort. The, the, the difference between social media and uh, social networking. Of course, uh, you can create your posts 
and schedule them out days ahead. That is for social media, no? So, gagawa kayo ng mga posts and uh, that you even uh, schedule it to come out to your uh, to your uh, account, no? Eh, for example, if you are using the Facebook, then uh, you can schedule it kung ka kailan uh, lalabas yan o di kaya. Sa YouTube, then you can schedule also when this uh, certain uh, topics or video or uh, information will come out in your YouTube channel. Okay. So, um, social networking is like dating. Okay. Ano, ano bang mangyayari dyan, dyan sa mga datings? No? So, it's time consuming. Okay. It's time consuming. And it takes a lot of time and effort to really make it work. Okay. Kaya nga, tinatawag itong uh, somewhat like dating, no? Because uh, you have to try your best to uh, to have a good relationship. Okay? So, para makikita natin na uh, your relationship really grow. Okay? You cannot do it uh, in uh, one way, one one time only. But we need to uh, have uh, this effort to care your relationship so that uh, you will be able to maintain the number of your subscribers okay and of course uh, your uh, followers no so that is uh, uh, social networking no? so uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to really make it work so alimbawa sa mga yung pong sinasabi ko po kanina ng mga uh, yung mga commercial complex, yung mga malls, o kahit sa mga gasolin, gasolinahan, mayroon po silang mga networkings na kapag member po kayo, you will earn, you will gain points, no? So, kahit sa mga uh, internet uh, networks, no? So, mayroon po tayong mga tinatawag na mga uh, gained uh, points so it is similar to uh, so uh, what we call this one uh, networking okay that's similar to networking so um, effort to really make it work okay so ROI measurement okay so return of investment of course uh, maybe it is not uh, uh, what we call this one uh, it is not really uh, an investment but of course uh, we should know uh, what are the benefits that we can gain okay in any form not only financial but of course in any form what are the benefits that we will gain or uh, maintain if uh, we have this social media or social networking okay so measuring the ROI from your social networking effort is going to be easier because there's more direct response okay sa social networking so makikita mo lahat kung ano po yung mga responses pag marami yung responses then of course we can say that effective po yung uh, yung mga topics na uh, pinopost natin okay so if your network of social followers um, is increasing then that's measurable ROI ayun nga po Pag dumadami po yung mga uh, subscriber niyo, mga followers niyo, mga friends niyo, ibig sabihin uh, maganda po yung uh, mga uh, concerns niyo, yung mga topics niyo. So, ibig sabihin na uh, you have a good uh, ROI or return of investments as we said. Okay? But since your social media strategy is about generating buzz and engagement, then it's a bit difficult to nail down that type of return. Okay? So, when uh, this social media uh, strategy uh, is uh, being uh, done, no? So, it is about uh, buzz or uh, generating buzz and engagement, then it is a little bit uh, difficult to maintain this uh, return of investments or uh, shall we say benefits okay so we have also this uh, uh, virtual world what is this uh, virtual world 
Okay, so this uh, virtual world is sometimes called digital world. Okay, so it is a computer-based online community environment. Okay, so computer-based online community environment. And that is designed and shared by individuals so that they can interact in a custom belt simulated world. Okay, so another thing here is interacting, interaction between uh, your the community or uh, world because uh, that might uh, you will be using a uh, world wide wave. No, so all virtual worlds possess the qualities of persistence and in interactivity so a quality of persistence okay and interactivity so these are this uh, what we call as digital world or uh, commonly this is what we call as virtual world okay so we we have these two types no? of this tinatawag po natin na world no so virtual no so we have this entertainment based Okay, strongly influenced, no, uh, by uh, fantasy, science fiction, and anime. Okay, genres of uh, literature and film. Okay, fantasy. So science fiction. So that is why it is called entertainment uh, based, no. Then uh, social interaction based. This uh, focused on user interaction. Okay, education and training through simulated worlds. Okay, so uh, focus on interaction between the uh, user, the blogger, or the author, the maker, the creator of the uh, the post, and of course to your prospected uh, viewers, okay, or readers. No? So interaction between these two. Then uh, education and training. Of course, uh, uh, you cannot uh, do all these things. You cannot uh, familiarize the performance, the feature of these applications or uh, this social media if uh, the, you will not be doing trainings no? or even edu education or learnings. Okay, so that is why we have these two types, no? entertainment-based and social interaction based okay so we have this uh, video sharing okay so um, uh, maybe some of you or some of us are doing be a video uh, like me I tried my best to produce this uh, video discussion now because of this pandemic we cannot have or we did not have face-to-face -face classes so it is uh, very hard for us to uh, do discussions no and maybe uh, many of us or maybe uh, many of the faculty or some of the faculty are uh, using uh, this uh, google meet no as a medium of the, the discussion some are using uh, zoom no zoom okay so but uh, in my case i am trying to create a video discussion upload to YouTube and then uh, to my uh, channel and then uh, so that my student can share or you can share or you will hear or you will uh, maybe your understanding will be or maybe uh, uh, enhanced no? through my video discussions okay so video sharing okay this has uh, has been exploded no in popularity from 2006 to 2007 okay the number of people who visit sites like youtube google video and myspace tv has doubled and now uh, it much more doubled or tripled or this increased uh, this need increases rapidly because of this pandemic uh, pandemic no oh, okay so it, it becomes such as a phenomenon of this uh, video sharing okay so we have these two options of video sharing for getting your video from your camera to a video sharing website okay so camera this time is not uh, anymore a problem because 
you will be using your cell phone. Yes, of course, uh, it is understood that uh, in making uh, or doing this uh, video sharing, of course, uh, primarily, you need to have this uh, 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 gadgets no? or device that will uh, uh, take the video or picture so that you'll be able to share it. No? So, getting your video from your camera. As I've said a while ago, your camera this time is not uh, a problem because uh, commonly our um, cell phone this time, smart cell phones, has, is having this uh, camera already. Okay, and uh, some uh, of our uh, maker of this cell phone, our model, our maker, our um, uh, company that produces the cell phone try their best to to enhance to increase the quality of the video that uh, the camera uh, is uh, performing no? so mayroon pong mayroon na po tayong mga camera na mga 50 megapixels no so that is our cell phone that has uh, 50 megapixels this time so nung una mga 3 lang po yan mga 6 mga 5 pero ngayon Mayroon na po tayong mga bagong cellphone ngayon. Iba't ibang mga bagong feature ng mga cellphones that will take uh, uh, good quality of this uh, picture or uh, video. Okay? So, mayroon pang mga picture or mga camera ng mga cellphone ngayon na malakas na yung uh, shutters nila. Okay? So, of course, uh, uh, that is the product of... Uh, uh this new technology when it comes to video production okay so uh, next uh, we have this uh, video editing software okay another way is to use a video editing software like movie maker iMovie or final cut pro and others no so um, for me i am uh, using uh, Cyberlink uh, Power Director. Okay? So, gumami, uh, gumamit po ako ng uh, Power Director no? to edit, to produce sa uh, video. No? So, uh, pero marami na ngayon na mga applications. Okay? So, it is not uh, uh, very hard for us this time to create video. Okay? The advantage of uh, video editing software is that you can combine multiple video clips into the same movie or add titles and transitions uh, add fade in fade out and uh, dissolves or whatever effect that uh, you want to implement no every time you have these transitions or transitions of these video clips no so social effects and other music soundtracks so uh, that is um, the those are some of the functions of this uh, uh, video editing software. So uh, some of this video editing software uh, are uh, free, no, uh, free this time. But of course, uh, if you need to have um, more software that is more efficient, uh, more uh, what you call this one. Uh, it will have uh, much feature functions and advantages then uh, of course you have to pay no uh, online pwede po tayong bibili online so that uh, we will have this uh, good uh, or efficient uh, applications or softwares okay without video editing software no uh, of course uh, we will be able to uh share our video uh, without uh, this what we call as uh, video editing uh, software now some video sharing sites like YouTube and blip TV allow you to record video directly onto the website without any special software okay so uh, that is what uh, YouTube uh, uh, has been doing your uh, your uh, Facebook uh, has been doing okay? So, pag magla-live tayo, live streaming po tayo, automatic yan, marirecord na yan doon sa account natin. No? So, uh, you can watch it uh, later okay, without editing. 
nandoon na po 'yan. So it will be recorded, no? So uh, of course, uh, you can uh, edit that one later, no? Uh, after you have done this uh, live uh, streaming. So direct recording is particularly useful for video bloggers. Okay, of course, or uh, vloggers, no? Who enjoy, no? Who enjoy being able to post quick video uh, video uh, messages directly from their webcam. Okay, so ayun po, uh, mayroon po tayong tinatawag na direct recording na lang po. Pero but uh, that sometimes it's very hard to edit that one unless you are going to download the video edit later of course uh, after the uh, recording uh, direct recording or direct recording using these uh, applications okay we have this uh, wiki and online sources okay okay wiki can be defined as a web based tool in which uh, users collaboratively add delete modify content okay directly from the wave uh, wave uh, browsers okay so the most famous wiki is wikipedia okay so uh, but of course uh, you should have be careful with that no in wikipedia wikipedia because uh, uh, the anybody can uh, edit okay the video in uh, wikipedia or what is the, the the content of the wikipedia that sometimes uh, uh, some are uh, uh, uploading uh, unverified informations no okay so be careful of using this online wikis no it encourages user collaboration allowing them to create edit delete and publish information okay yun nga po yun pong uh, sabi ko po kanina careful if you are the reader if you are the researchers or researcher careful of uh, using this uh, wikis okay kasi po baka uh, unverified yung mga informations o baka mali yung ibang mga informations na ini-upload nila kasi po uh, the user the uh, subscriber the reader can edit can delete or create uh, posts or published uh, information in this wikis okay so wikis have uh, become an increasingly popular form of technology uses in classrooms okay so especially if we need uh, informations additional idea okay so uh, just uh, g get inside with this wikis and type the words the uh, the uh, links no so that uh, it will become easier to get inside with these apps so careful with this one no? so it is a collabor it facilitates collaboration between teachers and students and it can also be used to engage learners in learning with others okay so uh, before i will uh, proceed then i just want to emphasize that uh, try to be careful with the sources that this uh, wikis are uh, using no so baka as i've said a while ago baka mali yung mga information na uh, binigay nila okay so lastly we have this uh, summary of our media literacy okay so it is the according to what we discuss it is the ability to access analyze evaluate communicate messages wide variety in of forms okay the social media platforms no so we have also uh, digital literacy and it is defined as the ability to locate evaluate create communicate information in vi uh, various digital flat uh, or digital platforms okay next a blog which is a certain word or version of a web uh, blog is an online journal or informational website displaying information of course in a reverse chronological order with the latest post appearing first at the top okay we have also we define also this uh, virtual world okay 
So it is a computer-based online uh, community environment that is designed and shared by in individuals so that they can interact in a custom built simulated world okay so that is the virtual world so with that okay we finished uh, discussing uh, this uh, media literacy which is your chapter four okay so thank you very much if you learn some things or many things with uh, what we discussed then uh, please uh, uh, subscribe my youtube channel and uh, try to share and try to like our my youtube channel uh, you will be uh, notified whenever we have our new audio video or video discussions that will be uh, uploaded thank you very much good day and stay safe and stay healthy thank you